Greetings my friends, I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm just a normal-ish guy who's doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. Welcome my friends, we are on to day 74 of the 10,000 pull-ups to pie challenge. 10,000 pull-ups. <laughs> I just like saying 10,000. You know, um, and we're doing digits 7,301 to 7,400. Okay, so we're still in the Temple of Doom. I think we've got today and maybe tomorrow i think we might be well yeah i think we might be out of it tomorrow then we're on to infinity wars after that so anyway so i'm going to put on my um the vest as you if you saw yesterday's which is unlikely i mean i don't mean to sound negative there but i don't expect too many people to be watching these <laughs> it's just uh in fact i was like on me analytics on the youtube and uh checking out i think I think the average was maybe, was it like 10 seconds or something that people were watching of this thing? They probably, as I'm going, I'm doing, they're probably like, that's it, I'm gone, which is a shame, but you know, I don't regret doing the little song at the beginning. Um, yeah, so, I don't know if I've just said this like, but so I, I was, I did have seven kilos in here on the Monday, Tuesday, and then halfway through yesterday, I upped it uh, another kilo. So I think, so next week again, so be five weeks left next week. Um, so again, I'm gonna put another kilo in on the Monday, so I'll take it to nine, and then halfway through the week again, I'll put another one in, and we'll just see where, we'll see how we'll go with that. Again, I'm just gonna, if I reach a point where I'm struggling, um, I do do these in sets of 10 for as much as I can. I usually get the full 50 here, then I get halfway through there doing 10 kind of numbers, um, two blocks of five and then I've dropped it down you know as the fatigue is kicking in to, um, to like about five but even if I'm using the weight and it's I can still do five even from the very beginning then I'll just continue to do that anyhow I'm rambling again so yeah let's just crack on and then I'll get the first 50 I know you won't be able to see the board well you'll be able to see the board but you won't be able to see the writing on it as I'm writing down the digits uh, from the ones which are hidden behind uh, these cheap bits of cheap bits of cardboard, um, so I'll reveal that at the end after I've done the hundred. I'll bring the board forward so you can see if I've, uh, if I've got things right or wrong, you know. And then you can judge me <laughs> with all of your might. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's crack on. We'll just take your time. I'm just going to get uh, yeah. See where I am first. That's where I am. Right. Ooh. Two, seven, seven, two, one, nine, zero, zero, five, five. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Got the first ten, um, and the weight felt reasonable. Okay, so what did I say there? I said two, seven, seven, two, which is just like an inversion of that one. Um, one and then nine zero zero five five nine zero zero five five. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. Here we're going. Someone there alive? Uh, Mr. Dougie, my friend. How you doing? Uh, yeah. So, like I said, I started adding the weights now. So I've got eight kilos in here, and I'm trying to add two kilos per week. Uh, if I get up to 14 kilos, I've got five weeks left after this week. So I can maybe get the 20 in the vest, but if I can get the 40, then that's a couple of stone extra that I'm lifting. You know, but anyhow, hopefully without any injuries. Okay, so I see we're still in the Temple of Doom. Um, and I'm on the locations. They're trying to escape down in the tombs, you know, being chased by people. So, right. Okay, nine zero zero five six one four eight four two five 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 one. Right. Um. Ba ba ba. What did I say? <laughs> I said. I said nine zero. That's right. Michael J. Fox, um, zero five, with like a doctor's thing on. 
uh, and he's examining the snake. <laughs> Six one four eight. Uh, oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! I've just repeated that. I'm a fool. Two seconds. I need to wipe this off. <laughs> I've uh, I've just done the nine zero there. Oh, Mr. Lee, that's okay. These things happen. Right. Okay. So it was it was six one six one. Uh, zero five five. No, wait a minute. Nine zero. What? Am I, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Six one four eight four. Right. Two five. Uh, two five 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 one. Right. I'm back on track. Okay. I'll be focused now. Hey, I don't know. Too much coffee today. Uh, that's a bit of a mess there, but let's not worry about that. Okay. Oh. Eight, seven, nine, two, five, three, zero, three, four, ah, three. Okay. I get through the first fifty, and I'll t uh, talk about my technique again. Eight, seven, nine, two, five, and three, zero, three, four, three. Okay. Three zero three four three. Uh, okay, so get the next two stop uh, stops. So they've just kind of come out of this cave, and there's water spewing out of the cave, and they're kind of hiding at the side like this, you know. <laughs> so I've got the, and, and then he's climbing up the wall on the other one. So that's me. That's me. Two locations. Uh, five, one, three. Nine, eight, four, four, two, five, three. Whew. Oh, I don't know why I keep adding this weight. I'm a glutton for punishment. Whew. Okay, five, one, um, three, nine, uh, eight, four, four, two, five. Four four two five three. I'll explain what why these numbers are like this in a minute. I mean, it is the pie, but <laughs> the thing is that I'm seeing in my head. <sighs> okay, uh, last two of this fifty. <sighs> so they're leaving the cliff face now, and they've gone to a to a bridge, to a rope bridge. So that's where I've got the uh, the locations in my head now. Two, two, three, four, one, five, seven, six, two, <laughs> three. Oh, the arm. I shouldn't be. I've got an injured arm here as well, so I really shouldn't add the weight, but. <laughs> uh, uh, three, sorry. Two two, uh, which is Brian Blessed. Three four, Christopher Dean. In one, can resemble a few things, but I'll, uh, five seven, uh, six two, uh, three. Okay, that's how I think. Uh, I don't feel yeah. Uh, we'll we'll see if I'm right. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Okay, so apart from the kerfuffle, which uh, I saw that word yesterday, it begins with a K, two Fs. Anyhow, so apart from the kerfuffle there, uh, everything worked out okay. Right, so um, so what I use is is a person action object list. So it takes a little bit to, to build one of these, but again, it probably took me a good few months. To kind of get to build it and know it inside now, but you can again, you can do these things faster, especially if you if you can model somebody else's. So, first of all, I convert the the numbers into letters. So, uh, I convert zero into O. One is A, two is B, three is C, four is D, five is E. First five letters of the alphabet. 
Uh, I know. <laughs> you know, I'm a teacher as well. Six is S, so six. Seven is G, which I think is probably from the G7, G7 summit. I can't seem to find any information, so I'm presuming that's what it's from. Anyhow, eight is H, sounds the same again, and nine is N. So to get the letters converted from the numbers is quite simple. Then you have to create your 0, 0 to 99 list. So 0, 0 is OO. So that's Ozzy Osbourne, but in there, so then you give them an action. So you can have them with these glasses, you know, you can be like, oh, Ozzy Osbourne, whatever. Um, he's biting the head of a bat, maybe. There was rumors that he did that, whether it happened, don't really know. Could have been a chocolate bat, I don't really know. But, so there's his action. And you can have an object as well, but I'm not really doing that yet. I've just got the person in the action, but the object again could just be a bat. So the object can be something like David Beckham, which is 42, because uh, four is D, two is B, just kicking a football, so the object could be a football. It just means you can add extra things on later, but that's maybe more for advanced people that have been doing it for a while. But as long as you get the person doing an action, that's the most important thing for now. Uh, so you do that all the way through the list, 99, Nick Nolte is chasing around Eddie Murphy, trying to cuff him, Eddie Murphy's swearing his usual ways. Um, and all the way through, uh, 63 is, um, is uh, Steve Carell, Cavell, Carell from uh, Evan Almighty. So I always have him as Noah from the film Evan Almighty. So there's literally the action is all these animals come out. You know, and it could be whatever the, sit the, the station is, I can use different animals if I want. You could be riding on the back of an elephant or the back of an eagle or something. So anyhow, so all the way through, you can have exceptions as well, like, uh, not really exceptions, but say zero one is just Neo because he's the one from the Matrix. So you don't have to have zero A. Do you know what I mean? So uh, zero seven is James Bond. Again, it's only one O, but I know zero seven is James Bond. So again, the action's just drinking a martino, shooting a gun. So however it works out for you, all the way through, um, I should post my list more. I've posted it a few times uh, just to show you my list of characters and actions. Um, so anyhow, so then what you do is you, you get these locations. So the first 4,800, I used pictures, leaving my house, going all the way along the seafront where I live, having benches and lampposts and bushes and um, whatever things that might spring to my mind, but uh, that you meet along the way, which seemed like a good station, but I used a lot of repetitive stuff. So it was, it was harder sometimes for us to recall these things, but this is what I was learning as I was going. So having more variety is definitely a good thing. Uh, otherwise you can kind of forget the station. So anyway, the first 4,800 was pictures. Then from 4,800 to 9,000, I've done Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom, just taking pictures going all the way through. Um, and tomorrow I'll finish Temple of Doom and I'm starting on Infinity Wars. <laughs> so it's actually a, quite a good one as well. There's, uh, again, I keep on making some of these mistakes about having characters or stations a bit too close or claustrophobic and I find sometimes that stops you from recalling the things as much, but these are all lessons that we'll have to learn ourselves as we do it. Um, but anyhow, so on the station, so for instance, this top one here is where they smash this huge big water barrel down in the caves, so it's coming crashing down and the water's coming through. So. I've got Bill Gates, because that's 27, so Bill Gates is always standing there with his wheelbarrow full of cash. That's his kind of action, he's just... So, if someone's using, pushing a wheelbarrow, like for instance... Okay, so, so I'll continue what I was saying there. So 72 is Bill Gates, 72 is uh, George W. Bush. So, he's like, you know, President of America, past, uh, apparently only got a 98 IQ, but, you know, still was President. <laughs> um, so I always have a, a podium, so so he stands at a podium talking, you know, doing, maybe waving a flag. Actually, no, sorry, he doesn't wave, yeah, actually, does he wave a flag? No. <laughs> Barack, Barack Obama wave, waves a flag, which is number 20. Anyhow, so Bill Gates is standing at a podium uh, and he's eating a bun, which one represents. So the last digit is, you can either use number shape or number rhyme. So zero is hero. One is bun, two is shoe, three is, three is tree, four is door, 
Five is high, six is stick, seven heaven, eight gate, nine vine. But nine vine, wine, whatever, whatever rhymes with the letter you can use to initiate a memory in your head or an image. Or you can just use the shape of that number. So one can be anything that looks like a one, um, spear, pencil, arrow, three um, is kind of like handcuffs or um, I don't like tree. I have quite, I use tree a lot for that. Or actually, I've, I've stopped using Groot as well as the character. So I can put Groot in because he's a tree. So I thought that was quite a good one. So you learn these little things and you can you can sample and try them out. Um, five looks a bit like a snake. So that usually have a snake. But five is also hive. So you can have maybe a giant bee or, or a swarm of bees as well. So it can be bees or snakes or whatever again your mind comes up with. So the first two digits is the character. So you always see Bill Gates on there for 27. And he's doing the action, so he's standing behind the podium and he's eating a bun as the water's coming down in swamp and in there. So you kind of try and feel maybe the water hitting, he's, maybe his bun's getting a bit soggy, you know, he's still eating it, he's worried about his cash going. So you just the more you can add to the sensation of the station, the sensation of the station, yeah. I'm a port and I don't know it. Yeah, uh, anyhow, so um, 9 0, that's uh, he's so he's on this cart. He's outside the court and he's like using his foot to try and stop the brake and there's like fire coming off his foot. So that's like 9-0 I've got is Michael J. Fox because the actual number is just N-O. So I've just got it as no. So it's like no, you know, so you can have characters that say no. So Darth Vader says no. Michael J. Fox again when there's been the shooting thing, he's just like no, you know, so I usually just have him. So he's he's on the court shouting no, but he's dressed as Omar El Epps from house so he's got a medical thing on and stethoscope around and inside of the the cart is a big snake so he's like doing that and he's might he's got his life preserver thing on he's going no but he's like checking the snake's heart is maybe trying to bite him so again this is, might be a stupid image but just whatever your mind comes up with to start with just put it in there and move on and when you go back over these things if they're not working properly you know tweak these things around you know, it's, I'm still doing that myself. Well, some of them are quite stale and I can't, they don't come to the memory as quick. But anyhow, so that's what you do. All the locations. And um, yeah. <laughs> and then that's basically, that's basically it. You know, it's just, uh, and you might wonder why, but there's there's reasons for this as well. There's like, I'm not just learning pie, I'm training my mind so I can learn lots of other things to go on all these stations and, and try and learn lots of, things about business and that as well. I know that might sound, might sound sound silly and that, but you can read business books, for instance, and stop all these phrases and things you can put on the locations. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have 2,000 locations after the pie, so I'm gonna start using them to incorporate other bits of knowledge on them and maybe interact with these characters as well, and then see how much I can put on a station before it becomes too kind of cluttered. You know, so I'm gonna experiment with all these things and see how it works. So it's not just jumping around like a lunatic. That is part of it, obviously, but uh, anyhow. Okay, let's get on with the next 50. So, uh, yeah, so that's off the bridge. Um, and now I'm back to kind of the indie thing. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get the forearms slightly loose for a second. Because, <laughs> you know, they've had time to cool down with all me waffling, but I still like to try and explain how and why and what I'm doing things for. Okay, uh, might end up dropping down to doing fives a bit soon as well. Okay, uh, three, six, one, zero, six, four, two, five, zero, six. Okay, right. Uh, three six, uh, one zero six, three six, and sorry, four two five zero six as well. Says David Beckham, <laughs> uh, giving out some cash because that's Ed O'Neill from uh, Married with Children, and there's a big fire. That anyway, that's uh, that's the image I see. Uh, okay, three nine. 
zero, four, nine, seven, five, zero, zero, eight. I think I'll drop it down to, to fives. Might get one more ten, I don't know. Oh. Uh, three, nine, um, zero, four, nine, seven, five, zero, zero, eight. Yeah, I've got to be a bit careful to say with these weights, I don't want to, because I damaged this ligament here uh, about 12 weeks ago. It's still not, it's still painful. <laughs> so I wasn't using any weight. My, my idea was to put a kilo in every week to have 20 kilos at the end of it. So I've got enough strength uh, to build up speed and stamina doing pull-ups. But I injured myself curling quite a heavyish weight and I had an air and I just like tore these to bits. And uh, yeah, you know, some injuries, they just linger. Uh, so I've got to be a little bit careful about adding the weight, so we'll just, we'll judge it by uh, trial and error. Okay, sorry. 750, right, they're going out under the bridge now. Indy's in the middle. And this is the location. Uh, six, five, six, two, seven, one, zero, Nine, five, three. Okay, definitely doing fives next time. <laughs> uh, six, five, six, two, seven, one, zero, nine, five, uh, three. Okay. Yeah, four, four stations left. I'm just gonna just do fives. Uh, okay, so see where. It is in my head. <sighs> Try these ones. Five, nine, one, nine, four. <sighs> Five, nine, one, nine, four. <sighs> Five, nine, one, nine, four. And the, uh, the bridge snaps and the smash against smash against the cliff face and uh, I've got this next character hits against the wall uh, six five eight nine seven six five Eight, nine, seven. Six, five, eight, nine, seven. Right. And uh, this one's the guy trying to, he's trying to get Indy's heart out, you know, it's just like one of them things. Okay, uh, oh, okay. Five. One, four, one, three, five, one, four, one, three. I'll tell you about me, uh, not exciting news, but last night I got like a response off one of my heroes uh, that I tagged into one of me, me things, one of my poems. I'll tell you in a second. It was a, it was a nice, it was a nice thing to get. Uh, four one four five one four one three and, uh, right. One zero three four eight. One zero three four eight. So that's Annie Oakley, who's a, she was like a sharpshooter, and. She's climbing up the ladders against the wall, but she's wearing Christopher Dean's, which is uh, three, four. Christopher Dean, uh, when his kind of, what do you call them? Ice skates, that's the one. <laughs> and 
eight represents snow and ice and things for me. So yeah, it's basically like, you imagine like a snow ice covered mountain now. She's going, so she's slipping, hard to get a grip. Someone's just throwing a person at her as well. Anyhow, <laughs> that's uh, let's see if uh, let's see if it's right. I don't always take it for granted. Of I say I do get uh, the odd thing wrong, or sometimes I get I, sometimes I get it right. I just you might have put the wrong digit. But anyhow, it's the board of truth again. Is revealing my errors, or in this case. The lack of errors, <laughs> which is good. Um, so, you know, oh, come on, get on there. Okay, I'm putting it there. <laughs> lack the ability to, to hang something over a screw. Right, let's take this off. Ah. So yeah, so so I sent this. I sent the poem. You might have seen the one. It was called Aquatic Quest that I posted, and I, and I tagged in the guy who I wrote the poem about, called. Uh, a guy called Ross Edgley, who I only discovered this guy. Like, it's like I discovered him. It's just like, ah, yes, here's a Ross Edgley. It's like, you know, win a prize for it. But he was the guy who swam around the UK or the British Isles or, what, yeah, not the, anyhow, however it is, he swam around it. And it took like 157 days. And it's because I watched that program, that documentary called Limitless with um, Chris Helmsworth. And he was on it, he was like the guy teaching them how to swim in the Arctic and to climb the rope as well. And this Ross Edgy guy there, he's just like punched a hole through the ceiling of what I thought was possible for humans to do. Which is really good, because I plan on doing lots of challenges and it's like, and people say it was all the time, I mean, you know yourself Dougie doing, you did like a million steps in a month. I mean, lots of people they would they'd be like, you know, how can you do that or whatever, but you know, you did it. And it's just other people might scoff at it, but I think we can do almost anything. You know, it doesn't mean we're going to break records and things, but uh, you know, we'll certainly push ourselves and we can go far beyond what we think. David Goggin, Goggins mentions that when you think you're at your limit, you're probably only at forty percent. I mean, I don't know how he came up with this, but he's literally pushed himself way beyond what he thinks was a limit on things and done insane things. So. His book can't hurt me. It's a really good book. He's got a new one out which I haven't, I haven't got yet. I can imagine it's just the same, same kind of stuff. So I don't know if I'd get any benefit from it to be honest. Uh, and he's like, but David Goggins. If you don't know who he is, check him out. But Navy Seal, ex um, Marshal or something as well. I don't know. But he's, you know, he's a he's a bit of a mad man, but inspirational as well. But he comes from a negative side, so he's like fuels himself through negativity. Whereas Ross Edgley is just like the most jovial, happy, happiest looking person you would have ever met in your life. And it just seems like this is what he's like all the time. When he, when he was swimming around the UK, he was just like laughing all the, I mean, yeah, there might have been a few dumb ones that he didn't see, but he was always trying to use that. Uh, I mean, he might have a bit of an inner demon or something as well, but he wasn't really showing it. Um, but anyhow, so I did a poem about him called Aquatic Quest, about that thing. And, he's, and I tagged him in last night and he sent us a message back, he was saying, oh, this is awesome, uh, bro Sidon, that's what he kind of, I've heard him mention that to people, it's because his brother turned up on the boat, but one of his brothers dressed as Poseidon, so, and he's his brother, so, bro Sidon. So anyhow, so I'm, I'm Ross Edgley's bro Sidon now, which is cool, you know, uh, but yeah, he's just, uh, he's an inspiration to me, and it was good that, you know, he acknowledged uh, a poem I wrote about him, which sounds a little bit odd, but you know, I write poems and I thought, ah, swam around there, you okay, let's do something about that. So that was nice, anyhow. But, um, but yeah, it's kind of like just discovering again people like him in my, the quests that I want to do with trying to memorise, oh, I've usually got the board there, trying to do these world record attempts on the 10,000 digits, but I want to, I'm just going to be going through these for the, for the future. I'm going to become like a ninja at the 10,000 digits. And I'm just throwing in the pull-ups there as well because I like doing pull-ups and I want to do pull-ups. So I'm going to, again, do the 10,000 pull-ups, hopefully, in a week and pe So I don't know... Uh, 
Sorry, uh, Mr. YouTube people. I don't know when that cut off. Um, you know, it must. It probably hasn't been that long. But I'll cut it anyhow. So anyhow, I was just talking about how uh, I'd sent some poems. I did. I did some poems yesterday. Some poems. Sorry. I do them Monday to Friday. I've got hundreds and hundreds of poems. So I post them Monday to Friday. And I did one about Ross Edgley, me hero, me, almost me number one heroes. He's definitely up there in the top, just in the top three. I think he's, uh, I'm not sure who the other two are right now, but he's he's right there. He's like broke the ceiling of what I thought was possible for humans to do and do it with joy and kind of just, you know, a luster for life and, you know, inspiring people around him. So it's just, it's people like him that, you know, he just kind of, just don't put yourself in a box and don't put yourself in a bubble of restraint. We can always push beyond there. I mean, yeah, there's probably limitations. I mean, there will be limitations to what we can reach. You know, and there'll be a point where, again, look at it like the, the 10,000, sorry, the 10,000, the, the 100 meter sprint, for instance. There'll be a point in whatever you do where, again, it comes down to like the hundredths of a second on there. And it's not like Usain Bolt went out when he broke the record every time, you know. And I'm sure at some point, at some point, he couldn't run the 100 in less than 20 seconds, and then 15, and whatever, then he got down under 10. You know, but like I said, when he broke that record, there was, everything had to be right there. And then the next time, he could have been half a second off it, or whatever. So it's just like, once you get that thing, you, it's very hard to expand it a bit more. So I guess it's whatever our bubble is, how much time and effort we're putting into things to expand this bubble. But it will, you know, if we're not keeping on top of it, it'll sink back in again and you have to put, so we're trying to maintain it. But it's, but initially there's probably quite a bit of growth to a certain size. And then it's just like, right, that's what it is. Then you're on the plateau. And then as uh, George Leonard says in Mastery, and then learn to love the plateau of where you're at. Don't get too frustrated and don't compare yourself to others too much. It's hard, I do it all the time. I try not to but because it just it causes anguish and kind of uh, self-doubt. So see it as a kind of, people are better than you, see it as something that is achievable, you know, but we don't need to achieve the level that some people do. We just have to be better than we are, you know, if we want to put what efforts into it. Anyhow, I'm not gonna, uh, I would have stopped talking, but I don't know how much uh, got cut off there. But anyhow, I'm gonna leave it there and I'll see you tomorrow for day 75, which will be, the three quarter mark. It still, it sounds good, but also it's like, it's still only three quarters of the way through, but it's better than it being at the beginning. If that makes sense, it does. I say that as if like, you know, if that makes sense. Anyway, see you tomorrow my friends. Uh, bye bye.